G'day YouTube. So I'm going to start this video by referencing how little amount of storage I have specifically in this side of the shed but in the whole shed as well. And how it's quite a mess in here. Stuff on the floor everywhere. Stuff hanging out the top of the toolbox. Just gear everywhere. Got quite a bit of gear, nowhere to put any of it. Well, thanks to the uh, good folks at Super Cheap Auto, it's all about to change. They've hooked me up with all manner of uh, awesome shelving and cabinetry. All from, all from the Tool Pro range. So, what I'm going to do. We'll time lapse the uh, clean up. We'll rip all this crap out of here. Once we've ripped all that out, I'm going to build a cabinet, 150 kilo shelves, and 350 kilo shelves, and we're going to make a wall of storage right here. So, this video is coming very soon. This is just an updated video for you guys so you know what I'm up to. So yeah, basically, they've sent me a pile of shelving to install, review, use, enjoy, basically, for the, for the shed. And um, so we've got some places to put things, which means I'll have a lot more room in here for the XC. The XC Falcon will be coming out here soon. Once we get all this kind of stuff up on shelves and out of the way and all the air tools away and cabinetry, things like that. This beast will be able to shuffle over, and I'll have an empty spot here. That'll allow the uh, XC to come out. And uh, 350 kilo shelves, I'll have no problem sticking heads, gearboxes, things like that on. Um, so we can get everything up off the floor and out of my way. So, I'm going to build them here. This is just a video to let you know what I'm up to. i to go and take that to the scrapyard. But we'll be able to get rid of all this clutter and crap. I was originally going to make some shelves out of these bits of pine that I've got and some of these bits of form ply because it's nice and strong. But there's just no need. So, one, I need to do a scrap run. Two, I need to build some shelves. So let's do that. We'll have somewhere to put our consumables, all our air tools, all our electrical tools. We'll be able to go in this nice cabinet that they've given me. And uh, yeah, videos for each of those products will be up soon shooting now give it a few days I'll have some uh, have some edits done and uh, get them up for you and thanks again to super cheap they uh, they really hooked this one up for me that's the current racking that's on this side of the shed as you can see about all it would be good for is holding them a couple of cans as uh, I'd have to drill some holes in the shed and it's not my shed so I'm not going to do that but uh, I'll get rid of this crap, clean up the sand, build some shelves, build a cabinet, set them all up there, and then we'll see if we can't make the shed a ton neater than what it is right now. Because we've got welders and compressors and carbies, tools, quick cut saws, drop saws. There's, like, there's air tools in here everywhere, literally. I started hanging them up on the wall over there, but like, let's put them in a cabinet so they're safe. Free from dust, dirt, that kind of thing. Thanks for watching, guys. Updates coming real soon. Catch you in the next video. then YouTube so she is built it's nice and tidy all black looks very neat 
Awesome little tool pro up the top there. Comes with a couple of keys and a pretty good lock that goes right through top and bottom, not just latching in the middle. And there you have it. So I really don't like assembling flat pack anything. Um, but this wasn't too painful. Uh, lay your parts out flat in a big open area. See, I didn't have a great deal of space where I actually laid it out to build it. That's probably the biggest failure. It's been raining all day outside. I probably would have rather lay them outside on the concrete out in the driveway out there rather than squishing and do them in a small space here. But it's built. Just like that. So uh, the next thing we'll build in the next video is I've got a couple of the 150 kilo shelves which apparently will butt hard up against this and they're the exact same dimensions. So if that is the case that'll be awesome. So that'll be next. Thanks heaps to Supercheap for sending me this as a uh, product to review and a keeper for the uh, shed storage. Uh, this will allow me to put all my air tools or something similar in here. I might even be able to get a welder in the bottom. Uh, keep them a bit freer from dust and dirt and stuff like that when I'm doing body work in the shed. And uh, just tidy the place up. So once I've got this and the shelves all built, I'll stock them all up and uh, I'll show you how I set the shed out. Thanks heaps for watching. Thanks super cheap. There'll be uh, more video playlists over here for uh, reviews and things like that. Over here there'll be some subscribe buttons. Thanks again. Catch